The naranjate body, similar in its embryogenesis to other neural tissue, is a derivative of neuroectoderm. At about the third week of gestation, after the zygote has implanted itself in the uterine wall in the form of a trophoblast, the definitive ectoderm is laid down between the endoderm and the pachyderm. The body somites, splanchnic mesoderm, and discordal plate invaginate into a pocket of dorsal mesenchyme and condense to form the spherical fibrous coat of the neurangiate body, which is known as the rind encephalon or the pila mater. The primitive neurangiate body is sometimes called the zippity duda. At birth, the neurangiate is found to lie inferior to the kidney where it is supplied with blood from the renal artery. By the first year of age, the body migrates superiorly to lie in its adult position in the foramen magnum and has also changed arterial supply from the renal penile arteries. Developmentally, the body may fail to ascend completely, resulting in anomalies such as naranjate axilla, peau d'orange, and naranjatus oris occultus. Do you follow? A dissection of the mature naranjate body is now in order. We see the tough, fibrous rind encephalon encasing the body, conferring a great deal of protective covering. Stripping away the coat, we expose the more delicate pila mater. A coronal section of the neurangiate reveals the internal contents. In the center of the body, we find a very dense collection of axons known as the nucleus pulposus. The nucleus pulposus receives its axons from cell bodies in each neurangiate lobe or section via the internal capsule, here seen in section as radial fibers leaving the nucleus pulposus. Reviewing diagrammatically, we have seen in coronal section the rind encephalon, the pila mater, the naranjate lobes, the nucleus pulposus, and the internal capsule. Neurangiate lobes number from 11 to 14 in quantity, a variable number due to the intrauterine environment of the embryo. High quantities of maternal ascorbic acid ingestion during pregnancy generally correlate positively with a greater number of lobes. A thorough knowledge of the name and location of each lobe is necessary. Each lobe is named according to a heliocentric orientation to the universe, with nucleus pulposus as sun, and dorsal lobes being the more distal planets and ventral lobes the more proximal planets. Now we see Pluto, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and Earth, and three others, Sleepy, Dopey, and Snow White. Sometimes a twelfth lobe is found, and this is Uranus. Uranus may be found by taking a probe and... <clears throat> well, l let's go on. Try it on yourself. Now, class, test yourself. Spin the naranjate body, and now locate all the lobes with their proper names. Which one is this? And how about this one? A horizontal section reveals the following contents. We see the longitudinal extent of the nucleus pulposus, fibers entering again from cell bodies in the lobes exiting from the body via the head of the naranjate or the guava. Also note the presence of the main nuclei of the lobes known as the pitamens. These bodies are secretory in function and exude CSF or citrate sticky fluid which bathes and protects the cell bodies of the naranjate lobes. Reviewing again diagrammatically, note 
the rind encephalon, the pila mater, the nucleus pulposus leaving the guava, and pitamens. The pitamens fuse with lobe cell nuclei to form the peliostriatum. Pathology. Often an adult naranjate body will malfunction and hyposecrete the CSF. In this case, donor naranjate bodies can be used to derive CSF and may be administered orally. Here we see a patient obviously suffering from hypocitremia about to take his daily dosage of CSF. The beneficent effects of the drug